What's up guys, Mr. Slin here with another fan demo review. If you want to submit your gameplay for my demo review, check out our community discord at discord.gg slash Mr. Slin. I got a channel for you guys to submit your gameplay. This one today comes from a player named XIESO. I'm gonna bet you your name, but I like what the nut. I like what the nut, that's a pretty sick name. I'm gonna go with what the nut. All right, you saved me from a terrible pronunciation of usernames. Let's call him the nut. Oh yeah, the nut. And uh, that mid fight was pretty brutal. So it looks like you're playing pocket soldier, because if you're playing roaming soldier with a shotgun, that is a terrible idea. And shotgun pocket is kind of outdated these days, but it is still doable. It's just kind of getting out of style, but it's definitely a viable way to play the game. So uh, definitely respect a soldier who can play pocket. Just means a lot less rocket jumping for you as uh, it looks like your teammates are already in there and fighting. So you're kind of joining the fight a little bit late. And uh, oh yeah, we, we gotta say what level he's playing in. He's UGC Silver in North America. So it looks like he was gonna get popped off and there's a sniper in front of you that you're spamming out. This is good. I mean, it's UGC Silver, so I'm not expecting like, you know, invite level gameplay here, but Overall, looks like you have a command of your mouse and keyboard, know how to play the game. And you guys get the capture back, popping the Uber off, which, you know, wasn't the best Uber, to be honest, but it's workable. So you have a scout top left, which could be a spy. Nope, looks like it's a real scout. And we're kind of waiting for the enemy team to push back in with Uber advantage. One of the things I'll note is your holding location on the right side here is not really the best one. Oh, nice pick, though. Ooh, that was actually really sick. Um, Holding on the right side of the point is not ideal because, as you can see, you're just not really able to see a whole lot of what's going on. I think you'd stand a much better chance of holding high ground and holding a position of power if you were holding on the top left side by the cliff or if you were holding on top of the rock. Actually, unless they have a sniper, there's not a whole reason not to hold on top of the rock. Now, you know they were running a sniper at one point in time. But after the sniper got killed off, I think it's pretty safe for you to just stand on top of the rock there. And having that high ground is going to give you a lot better spam angles onto that left side that you're trying to spam here. And we call that left side main for anyone who's, who's wondering what the names of the positions are. So Soldier Bomb's in here. And one thing I noticed is that you're kind of missing a lot of rockets here and that causes your demo man to go down. So one of the most important things that you can work on as an aspiring pocket soldier is your rocket aim. That is going to be crucial for you uh, because... A lot of basic plays that should be converted will be converted for you if you just have good aim. And a lot of plays that shouldn't work will work if you had good aim there. And that was actually a pretty good uber from you right there, getting like three, four kills. So the nut is nutting. Actually a, a very solid uber from you guys. Catching their medic with an uber is the best thing you could do. So uh, really good job there. And that's going to give you guys uber advantage with a minute left on the clock. You know the blue team has to go for a dry push. So, they're coming off the low ground. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Holding those high ground positions, spamming down to them gives you just amazing angles to just rain terror down on the enemy. So, that is just a really, really sick spot that you pulled right there. I think a higher level player would probably punish you for it, to be honest. Because uh, there's not a lot of room for you to maneuver with. But, I mean, at this level, dude, you just killed it. You just destroyed that joke. So that was really nice. All right, bomb comes in. You guys have to pop Uber. Not a big deal. Again, I just wish you guys were not holding on a position that was so vulnerable. It's much safer to hold on the cliff. Your medic can jump on the rock, jump on the cliff. You guys just sit back on the cliff and wait for them to walk up to you guys. And you can just Uber on top of them and just destroy them. So it's, it's a way to get a really, really nice Uber off if you just wait for them to come to you by standing on top of the cliff. Actually, this is a, kind of falling apart for you guys. This is not good. Um, because what this should have been a surefire round for you guys. You had like 30% Uber advantage. And then you guys had a bad Uber and a lot of players died. And now they actually got a recapture off. So, uh, yeah, if you guys just would have gotten a, a good Uber off there, that would have that would have saved that entire situation from going down in flames. Uh, but it's going to be even Ubers here. And, again, you're kind of going from, the, from this shut... Uh, what we call this, like... Some people call this sheet, or some people call this like metal or whatever you want to call it. Uh, other people will call it main. We can call this one main, and we can call the uh, the one underneath the bridge. We can call that one valley. 
So uh, pushing main is generally ill-advised because it's on low ground and you just have no room to maneuver. As you can see, your devil man's spamming up from there, but it's really not giving you a lot of space to work with. Like, I'm talking width-wise. Nice air shot. I'm talking width-wise. I'm talking from left to right space. You don't have a lot of space. And what you really look at is if you look at the valley side, the left side, see, look, look at this Look at this choke point right here. There's like no room for you to maneuver with. This is a very tiny area. And so that makes it very easy for a soldier or a devil man to just completely stuff you. And a scout can stuff you pretty easily as well here. So it's actually much, much better to push off that left side. You can see your devil man and scout have already pushed that side. That's the side that you want to be going down. Uh, to, it just gives you a lot more room to dodge the spam. And you'll find you'll, your pushes will be a lot easier coming off of there because look at look how much room you've got here on this side that is a big difference so looks like you guys are dming it out ftw and rounds all yours nice good job all right so i'm kind of getting a sense of your gameplay here kind of getting a sense of your strengths and weaknesses and one of the strengths that i see from your side is that you're very good at follow-up you're very good at watching what your teammates are going in on and then helping them finish off those kills i would like to see you become better at initiating and, and starting a fight so let's see if you do that here on this middle looks like see you're not really doing a lot of damage you're actually taking a lot of damage and putting your team behind on heals it's actually probably better for you to do nothing than what happened right there which is you took 150 damage and then you kind of had to back off so yeah the, the what i'm noticing from you as a general gameplay is like you're really good at following up when the enemy is distracted you just hop right in there you got your shotgun you got your rocket launcher you just kill everything that's nice uh what i'm noticing as a weakness of yours is that when your team needs to initiate a fight when your team needs to someone to just kick things off and make some room that is not one of your strengths and i'm noticing here that your rocket jumps are they're like manageable but they're not super strong so I would recommend that in your free time, hop into a jump server and you'll find that like when you're not scrimming, if you just if you could just find like half an hour a day to hop into a jump server, you'll get much more confident in your jumps and conserving your health with your jumps and just making space for your team. Because that's what your team needs out of a pocket soldier is they kind of need someone who's going to initiate the battle. This right, right. Think about your medic position. Your medic is dumping a lot of health into you all the time. And so they're going to need someone who can really be that battering ram to bust the door open and allow the squishier classes on your team like the scout and demo man to capitalize and what you don't want to be seeing is a demo man who is sticking his neck out there and trying to create a lot of space because the demo man is not really a direct damage class he's more of an indirect damage class and so you're really not going to want to be like making him do all the heavy work uh you're going to want to be like see this is perfect you're you're really really good at this thing this thing that you do where you come in afterwards and clean up the damage you're really really good at that i just feel like you need to to strengthen up how you initiate the battle the cleanup the ending of the battle you do just fine um and one of the ways you can you can kind of strengthen that is take a serious look and i'm gonna be I'm, I'm doing that right now i'm taking a serious look at how much you use that shotgun because if you're not using that shotgun enough i'm gonna ask you to nix it i'm gonna ask you to get rid of it and switch over to uh to gunboats because that's gonna give you more jumping capacity and if you can jump more, you're going to be able to make more room for your team. And um, I, I have seen you pull out your shotgun and get some kills there. But like right here, you never even pulled out your shotgun once. So it'd be nice to have a little bit more health. Um, that You could use that health to either rocket jump out of a bad situation or just jump another angle. Like you can get two jumps in. And while their team is busy trying to air shot you, that's when your team comes in and just like wrecks them. So I'm not really asking you to play roaming soldier. What I'm asking you to do is... Um, take a look at how you can start a battle by using your rocket jumps to create space for your team and a lot of times when you're doing that creating space for your team you don't really even have to be hitting your rockets although hitting rockets is a really nice plus which is why i'm emphasizing it so much but a lot of times you just need to be able to like create space for your team in a net positive positive. and what i'm seeing is like a net negative see right there like their scouts just push forward took you down um you want to be like putting yourself in positions where you're doing more damage than you're taking and so every time this happens to you where you're taking more damage than you're doing you need to think about like okay how can i put myself in a position where i'm not going to be under so much fire and you can't just be baiting your team because remember you're the pocket soldier you are the battering ram that starts the fight um in a lot of wide open areas and a lot of wide open spaces your scouts and demo man will be 
be definitely okay with creating room for you. Um, but I would like to see you be able to create that room on your own. Uh, looks like you, you're behind the enemy team here. And that's fine. Your team looks very comfortable, actually, without you being there as a uh, short leash pocket. So, oh, nice rockets. Nice. That was really, really good, actually. Um, kind of bad that you gave them an Ubersaw. You know, what are you going to do? All right. Yeah. All right. So, looks like you're jumping up. You're not really aiming that rocket there onto the point. You're kind of just throwing it out there. Okay, I can Okay, I can kind of see the use of the shotgun. Okay. Uh, I'd like to see you jump on the high ground at this point in time because there's nothing you can do with a super player. And now you kind of collapse in. This is fine. Sniper on the high ground. You don't really care about him. I mean, you do. You're getting out of the way. Nice. Okay. I'd like to see you jump him right here. He's putting so much pressure on your team, and you're in a great position to jump China and put pressure on him. Oh, the surprise attack. All right. Good stuff. Yeah. I just I just think your team would have a, a lot better time if you were really good at initiating. And I would encourage you to watch some like really, really good pocket soldiers and watch how they use their health. Because when you're at 300 health, that is a huge force of nature. That is a huge opportunity for you to make room for your team. And what I'm not seeing is is that room being created, that pressure being taken off of your combo. In this case, your medic and demo man. Like I would want to see you like jumping deep, jumping high ground, not taking a lot of damage doing that. And what I'm seeing here instead is you kind of sitting on low ground, cleaning up damage on things that are like kind of already hurt already in you guys. And like, yeah, I'd rather I'd rather see like the scouts. Uh, clean up those frags. Alright. Um, I think your medic died there. I'm not 100% sure, but I think your medic died. When your medic dies, um, you actually get forward spawns a lot faster than they do. So, uh, that's just a general rule on Viaduct because the enemy team is going to spawn uh, slower than you when they have control of the point. So, in that opportunity, I, I wish as soon as your medic died, I wish you went for a sacrifice play on their medic. Uh, your medic dying right there is a little bit out of your control, so don't worry about it. Okay. So you're hiding. Oh, one thing to note is that, like, when you're fighting, you don't really want to be waiting for your teammates to, like, die. You want everyone to die together. Like, your team is a whole single unit. Think of it that way. Your team is a single unit. You all push together and you all die together. Oh, this is sick. This is sick. That's fat. That's fat. All right, nice. Yeah, see how you pulled out your shotgun there and tried to finish off the demo man? I mean, that was that was good. Um, but if you had gunboats, you could rock and jump out of there and maybe stay alive. It doesn't really matter either way to me. All right, good stuff. Um, but to the point I was making earlier, your team is a single unit. So you need to like live together and die together. And I would like to see you guys, like when your teammates are in, I'd like to see you in there supporting your teammates as opposed to like you hiding in a corner while your teammates are dying. Uh, this is just, again, this is just not a good spot to hold. Okay. Uh, we've already established that, though. Like, as you can see, when rocket sol when soldiers are rocket jumping into you, you're just ill-equipped to deal with them from the low ground. And that scout pushing you on the right side, you just can't put any pressure on him at all because you're on the low ground. Uh, you guys should probably go into them with the super. Ooh, get dropped. All right. I think you were calling to back out or something. You guys should have taken that Uber into them because you guys hit control of the point. That was a really good opportunity for you guys to uh, to block that with the Uber. All right. Uh huh. All right. Generally speaking, I feel like, oh, nice, dude. This is good. Uh, okay, you're hiding. This is fine. Yeah, that medic, that position your medic's in on the, on the on top of the cliff there was like gorgeous. I wish he just stayed there all the time. <laughs> okay. And you're locking down the right side choke, kind of. Just focus on the left side of the map here. Um, and I know the map is uh, asymmetrical, so left is not the same. But when you're playing red team, focus on the left side of the map. Focus on the cliff side of the map. Because again, it's all about high ground. The stairs side is the low ground side of the map. That is the side the enemy is most weakest. 
So they probably do not want to push from the stair side. They are most likely to push from the cliff side because that is the high ground. And also this valley area here is the best place to push from because it's got that wide open space that we were talking about earlier. So you want to encourage the enemy team to push from the stair side of the map by putting the most pressure possible on the cliff slash valley side of the map. So holding the stair side is just, you want them to go stair side. Uh, so you're actually doing, you're actually encouraging them to go on the better side, which is not what you want. Okay. Ooh, baby. Ooh. That trap, though. Oh, you're, you're rushing the shot, man. You're rushing the shot. That happens sometimes. Uh, just really take your time, you know? You got to make those shots count. So one of the most important things you can do as a soldier is you only get four rockets. You got to make it count. All right. So you guys should be going for that push out. You guys are taking it from the stair side. Yeah. See how they're putting pressure on your cliff side, so forcing you to go out the stair side? That's exactly what you should be doing to them. So you guys are going in. They pop Uber. This is really bad for your medic. Nice kill on the sniper. All right. That's fine. Uh, looks like your medic died, actually. Rip. That's not your fault, though. Um, your medic should not have been playing so close. But I think you did the right thing there. You forced the Uber, and then you got on top of their sniper and got a kill out of it. So that was pretty good from you. Alright. You guys need to get in on this push. Because remember, you guys have faster spawns than they do. You need to be getting in and mixing it up. You cannot be letting... Like, on a map like Viaduct, you do not have the luxury of time. Uh, you have to keep things moving along. They just all in for your medic. That was pretty nuts. <laughs> and the scout soldier weren't even the ones to get the kill as the sniper. Yeah, you're just resting the shots. Yeah. So, uh... Alright. I think I've seen enough from this demo. Alright, into the wrap-up. So, overall, I think you're actually a pretty good player. I think you have a lot of potential. Uh, what I would like to see from you, the first tip that I have, is practice your DM, practice your jumping. Uh, as you saw near the end of the review, you're kind of missing some shots here. Kind of makes you cringe a little bit. I mean, you just like one thing you can do to make it a little easier is to take your time on each of your shots. But I know not that not everyone has a lot of time in the day to practice. But if you do have any amount of time, if you can hop into a jumping server and practice your jumps, if you can hop into an MGE server and practice your aim, that will help you out tremendously you'll be able to convert more of those jumps you'll be able to convert more of those kills and you'll make just be like an overall more effective player second thing i recommend that you do consider switching to gunboats i didn't see you getting as many shotgun kills as i would have liked to see to warrant and justify you using that weapon so using the gunboats would allow you to do a lot more jumping and that will cover up your third weakness which is your lack of initiation. I think overall your cleanup is very strong when you have no pressure on you and everyone's got their back turned to you, you, you hit all the rockets. It's amazing. But when the pressure's on you and, and people are looking at you, you kind of don't know how to make space. And what I'd recommend that you do is put those gunboats on and jump to high ground, jump to open space, jump to height that can push the enemy back. And if you can hit a couple rockets while you're doing that, that's really going to open it up for your team to push forward. And then the last tip that I have, and I'm sorry for giving you so many tips. I typically don't like to give this many tips, but on a map like Viaduct, you really need to focus on the left side of the map as the red team or the right side of the map as the blue team. Focus on the cliff side. That's going to give you that high ground that you need to break open the map. So hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the demo review. Again, if any of you guys watching want to have me review your gameplay, check out our Discord channel, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Peace.